In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to manage the recruitment and onboarding process inside of your monday.com system. I'll be recommending the best board template to use, some customizations that I think would be suitable and how you can tailor it to your business as well. Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick. Just before we get into the video, if you are signing up to monday.com for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below. It really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once you log into monday.com, of course, you'll come to the home screen. Now, in order to manage your onboarding and recruitment process inside of monday.com, what we want to do is go to the left hand side and go to our workspaces area. Go to the workspace that you would like to manage this on and then just press the add button. Go to choose from templates and then in the top left hand corner, we want to search for recruitment. Um, and then you will see the recruitment and onboarding board here. This is the one we wanna go ahead and use. So if you press the use button, it may take a moment to load up. It shouldn't take too long. Um, and this is gonna help you onboard and manage the recruitment process for your business. So as you can see, we have got on the left hand side, the folder, which is the recruitment and onboarding folder. And then we've got three different boards and I'm gonna go through each of these boards in this video. So the first board is the recruitment pipeline. And this, I'm sure you're familiar, recruitment is kind of like sales, but as opposed to selling product, you're bringing people in and you're finding the best people possible. So you've got the different stages here. We've got new applicants, in progress, we've got hired and then unqualified applicants. And as you can see, you've got the recruiter, so who is in charge, the application date. And if you scroll down the bottom, you'll see the role, their department, their CV, uh, whether you've got it, uh, no go, go, you've got phone interview, and you've obviously got the different stages here. So stage one would be you get the resume, and then you do a phone interview, then an in-person interview, then you get references, then you send an offer, and then you send over the contract once everything has been finalized. I like the way that this progress um, works. So if you say go, um, and obviously the, the percentage will change for the progress. If we keep moving along, you've got links to relevant software. You can add their LinkedIn, their email, their phone number, the source, and we can connect to the employee directory. Now, this, this board is very useful. I think it's really, really good. And obviously, you can move the applicants through the different stages. Obviously, hopefully, we get to the point where they are hired. I feel like there are a few things missing, in my personal opinion. I think once they finalize the recruitment pipeline i think we obviously want to actually move them out of the pipeline so my recommendation would actually be to add a button and as opposed to having the com uh, the employee directory so i don't think you'd want to add them there so what you might want to do is have a button that then moves them to the onboarding checklist and then to the directory and removes them from the pipeline and transfers their data accordingly to the different places or distributes it accordingly. You can do that through automation and creating a button. I also think another really nice feature would just be to add a column for files. So if you go add column and then files and that would allow you to upload their CV and any contracts and any additional information that you would want to that you want to track. You can't directly track in monday.com, but obviously you could upload their CV as a PDF and then you can just have it in relation to that particular applicant. I think that would be really, really useful as well. Um, I like the pipeline. I think you can obviously change it. Um, to match more of your style of recruitment if you'd like to whatever is applicable to your business. And again, um, you've obviously got the different options here. So you might have, and I know some companies have multiple stages, so you might add additional stages here. So you can have interview one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then offer sent and then contract. And I know that that's um, for bigger roles and things like that, but I mean, that is definitely applicable nonetheless. So you can track that there as well if you'd like to. I'm a big fan of the uh, LinkedIn and link to relevant software as well. So obviously the software is like Indeed, you've got Kameet, which is um, uh, like a recruitment platform. So you've got good information you can track here. Up the top, we've got the workload and the source chart. Unfortunately, as this is a free version of monday.com, I can't access either of these. Um, you could use some additional views. The Kanban view could potentially be useful um, in some instances. 
Um, I'm not so sure, but I mean, you can have a play around and see what works for you. So obviously you've got your pipeline, which is bringing people in and managing whether they are or aren't right for your business and managing all of the stages for that. So like I mentioned, we then click a button. Well, I think would be really suitable anyway, is to click a button and then you go over to the employee onboarding checklist. Now, the onboarding checklist is obviously additionally very important. You can add links to the uh, employee directory. I think that would be very useful if you make a connection between the employee directory and the onboarding completion process or the checklist. Um, and you can see here you've got the different stages. Now, I would suggest obviously designing this to meet your onboarding requirements. And I know there are going to be many different stages for your business and how you onboard your team into the business the other reason i think it would be applicable to make that link between the employee directory and the onboarding checklist is because you can then see what you are doing what um, stage they're at and who it is actually for so schedule on meeting all meetings in this board for this particular employee if you understand and then you can move them through the different stages again at the top here you've got the kanban view and you can see the working on it done and stuck and what needs to be completed and how you can manage all of those as well and we've got the priority chart if you have got the paid version. But I think the employee checklist is very useful, but it will require additional customization to fit how your business is going to operate and everything that needs to be completed in order to get that employee to start working or be in a position where they can begin work or begin integrating with the team. And then finally, on the left hand side, we have got the employee directory. And this is obviously all the current employees, the past employees um, and their additional information. Again, you may want to add files just so you can see uh, their CV and things. But as you can see, you've got their phone, email, their start date, their manager, the department that they work in, the job description. Uh, but it may be worth adding files like their contract so you can upload their contract, their CV. You can obviously going to want to track additional information that your business monitors for your employees as well, whether they work from home, whether they're remote, flexi, additional information like that. Um, obviously we have got their manager as well you could add multiple managers their line manager things like that like i said any further information so obviously we've got the current employees and the past employees you could have additional categories as well like uh, subcontractors things like that if that is applicable to the way your business works but hopefully this video has been useful you've got the employee directory like i said then you've got the checklist and the pipeline so everything starts in the pipeline moving over to the checklist and then the directory. I like the way that the fields have been set up. I feel like it does collect quite a lot of information across all of these boards. I think the onboarding is going to be open to customization more so than anything else. But I like the pipeline. There are just some additional features that you could add to make it a lot easier for yourself if you wanted to. But I think that a lot of it is here. A lot of the information that we want to track is here. So hopefully this video has been useful and I'll see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you are now all set to manage your recruitment and onboarding inside of monday.com and you're in a position where you can customise it to suit the needs of your business to make the recruitment and onboarding process as seamless as possible. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.